Sometimes people ask, Mr. Skipper, what's your favorite book? And I never know an answer until it comes along in the year where I'm teaching the house on Mongo Street. And I think, oh yeah, that's probably one of my favorite books. And it was written by a woman named Sandra Cisneros, who is 10 years older than I am. The eighth graders uh, in the past, we've read the entire book, and currently we have parts of it in study sync. But what I want to show you is this. Now you can read about her here. But all the way down at the bottom of this article about Sandra Cisneros, we have a works cited page. And on it, they list all the sources they used to write this article. All the information they found in here came from down here. This is their works cited page. Now, if you look at it, you'll see it's a tad bit different from the Modern Language Association style, the MLA format. But that's okay. Right here says how to cite this page. And you see, they give you, here's the MLA format. And this is just like we talk about, except that there's no web address on there. So it'd be kind of tough to find it. And then this is called Chicago style, which does have the web address on it. And in fact, the Chicago style they have is much more close to this, the MLA style, the way it should be. Now, this is might be because it's from 2019, and maybe they very recently switched. I don't know. Um, and then the other style is the APA style. But the point I wanted to make is this. Here's an article on the Internet about this author. It's basically a research paper because or, or a researched article, and this is where they got their information. This is just what we do. When you write something that's scholarly, you tell where your information came from. So I thought it was cool.